we're going to see if it happens. Becky and I, we have this running joke that every time we do a live, it'll say that it's reconnecting. But it's not doing it here, so yay. Stronger Wi-Fi? Yeah. Okay. Well, Even though I didn't log into it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably not the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Or it's probably not going out at all then. <laughs> so I'm here with Angela Bryant. Hello. She is the owner of Angel Bars. So everybody say hi. Hi, Angela. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and today we have our special guest host. Ready to make her surprise appearance. And go! Surprise! It's clear! Because it's clear week. It's clear week on going Gainesville. Kind you of guys will, week. Yeah, <laughs> you guys will know that. But with tomorrow. less teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so here she is. With gifts. She comes bearing gifts. So this is gonna be our giveaway today. We put the instructions in the comments of what to do to win. And Claire's our Vanna, Vanna White. <laughs> so it's a um, what, well you can tell people I'll let you tell turn people. up your smell <laughs> yeah so so these are angel bars posy stones and a posy stone is like a bath bomb for your shower uh, so those of you who maybe don't take baths and don't use bath bombs or those of you who are super sensitive and can't have the different fufu soap products on your skin this is an option for you these go into your shower, and when they get sprinkled with water, they activate, and they actually effervesce and fill your shower with the aromatic experience of whichever stone you're using. They last for about three to five showers, and we've got two different sets. The one that Claire is holding here today is our Relax set. That one has softer scents like lavender and rose. We also have a Claire Recharge. The bomb. <laughs> we also have a recharge set, and recharge is for trying to kind of get your, your sinuses kicked into gear so that you can handle the winter months and the cold. That one includes scents like eucalyptus and mint and lemon. And as Leslie mentioned, one lucky winner is going to get our relax set here and will be chosen and announced at some point in the future. Yep, we're doing that, that's going to be on Friday morning at 10. So. Go like Angel Bar's page and then comment Angel below and you'll be entered for a chance to try these out. Perfect. They smell awesome. They do. They smell so good you can smell them through the box. And I feel like Angela would be great at reading me a bedtime story. Just her voice is all relaxing. She's I would so disagree. I, I think I would not be good at that. Yeah, she's like, a, she's so like soothing and like relaxed she when yeah. she talks. I think my husband would disagree with that generally. <laughs> well, there's some powerful issues there. <laughs> so, 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 and we, so everyone's going to learn more about Claire tomorrow on our video, but also I'll just let you give a plug to what you do. Sure. I'm a photographer. Um, my business is called La Master of Photography. I specialize in portraits, um, I do a lot of food during the week, um, I do events, um, and weddings. So she can bring us along to try all the food? I can. First I take the picture, then I eat the food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the correct Those order. Are the, rules. the order of operations. <laughs> Have you ever had anybody like jump in right as you were taking a picture and like put their fork in something you were trying to picture? Um, no. I mean, I have had hands go in there. And, and some pictures she just like, smacks you. She just hands, yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> an initial reaction. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So anything, let's, anything more that you want to get out about your company or the products that you make in terms of, I mean, we talked about the bath bombs and the, sh what are the shower steamers. Mm -hmm. Yes, she, she does, does soaps. soaps and Definitely does do soaps. The monthly. Uh, we do have a monthly subscription oh, box. Cool. You do not have to put on pants to go get your soap every <laughs> month. Uh, on our website, which is www.angelbars.com, you can, can check out the different monthly subscription boxes that we offer. We have two right now. One is two bars of soap every month delivered to you. The other is two bars of soap and three bath bombs. And I think going forward, I'm going to have to offer another one that is soap and posy stones. Yeah. Because what I'm finding out is that most people who get the bliss box, which is the box with the bath bombs in it, the kids sneak the bath bombs away and moms that usually don't get to use and enjoy their bath bombs. They get they get swiped by the yeah. youngins. I can totally relate. My my youngest loves bath bombs. 
how old is your youngest? He's 10. Yeah. And then I've got like my daughter who's when she was, I mean, she's 16 now. She's not so much into doing mm -hmm. that, but like four, 13, 14. Oh yeah. Those, those would be. So the posy stones yeah. might, <laughs> might get switched out as another option, <laughs> especially too, for those of us who, you know, like the thought of taking a bath, right. but maybe never get around to actually finding the time to mm -hmm. take a bath. Mm -hmm. So, but we're all in the shower pretty regularly, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. And then, and then you use all like um, natural ingredients and that sort of thing. Correct. So anytime you use a handmade bar of soap, you're actually avoiding a lot of the typical chemicals that are in a regular bar of soap. All right. Really quick. I have to interrupt and Go say, because you guys aren't used to working with me, I have to sneak up there and read the comments. So just do oh, it. It's not helping. Let, let, me, let me grab my We are bar. about eight feet away mm -hmm. yeah, from like, the, And it's not the helping camera. that one of my contacts is in it. Yes. I <laughs> Broadcasting system. I was not aware of the. Uh, um, <laughs> let's. We are going to. Our. Do, 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 do. Our, life. Our, we should have. That would have been awesome if we did a seance in the middle of it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if we, if we would have got the scheduled uh, outage. We could have done a. We could have had like a Ouija board out. Totally joking. <laughs> totally joking. <laughs> I'm calling the ghost. Oh, oh goodness! We can, sorry. Oh, I hate my voice. How do I? Okay. I got a turn. Hi, Robert. Hi, Claire. <laughs> Claire just tuned in. Myself? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did we just go meta? <laughs> yeah. This has got to be the best episode ever so far. Um, just, no, man, and I didn't crazy. have to go anywhere no. for it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so, wait, where were we? Where were we? Did you get so out? Natural. We were talking about all that stuff. And then the power Did you say everything? It, well, the power went out. I don't want to cut you off. No, no, more. so, so, in general, if you buy a bar of handcrafted soap, you are avoiding all the extra chemicals and ingredients that have to be added to make a commercial bar of soap shelf stable. So, that is also why most bars that you buy in a grocery store or at Walgreens are not actually called soap. They're called cleansing bars or face bars. And the reason that they're not called soap is because they don't have lye in them. Every true bar of soap has lye and oils that go through a process called saponification, and that transforms those lye and oils into what we consider soap. And what that results in is a bar that is not going to last for years and years on a shelf. Um, you typically want to use handmade soap within about a year of it being made. You can use it afterwards, uh, but it's going to be a little harder, crumblier, a little bit brittle. So the ideal time to use it is within a year. Um, all the extra stuff that goes in it is what makes those commercial bars able to sit is at, in inventory and in stock and be moved around. And you're just not getting all of those extra preservatives in a sense if you buy any type of cold processed handcrafted soap. So yes, the majority of my bars are vegan. I do have a goat milk soap that would not be considered vegan. Um, a lot of the bars are organic. They can be up to about 83, 85% organic um, because lye, again, is not considered organic. Um, and it does mostly go away, but because you can't claim it at 100%, that's why you can't have 100% organic soap bars. Um, but more importantly, I've made my bars to be incredibly aromatic, um, Long-lasting yes. scent. I can adjust. A lot that. of them are very I'm scrubby. Um, they're going to give you a and really Annie has nice. Some good comments. Oh, cool! Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So she has some good comments about the angel bars. So oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. It's always great to hear uh, people that have used uh, the different products. I love getting feedback, um, and that's one of the reasons why on the website you can leave a review. You know, some people don't like everything, and I fully expect that. But it's great to kind of get you know, comments back, because that helps me plan out what I'm going to make in the future. Yeah, so I do think we should do another Going Gainesville where we actually, I want to make a bar. Okay. And oh, film that'd be cool. And yeah. do we a time lapse. We could do that. And you guys can watch it. Because I think that would be so fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And it's, I mean, 
<laughs> All that information you just gave, I had no idea, you know? It's you, you think about it like food and preservatives and food. Right, or, right. Yeah. So it's it's been such a fun journey and it's been so exciting. You know, when I started this process, it's been so exciting kind of learning about all the different essential oils and what those can do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can make a bar that is super sudsy. You can make a bar that's less sudsy but more cleansing. Um, it all depends on what oils you're going to use, how much of those oils you're using, and if you're going to put anything in it as an exfoliant. Um, I use oatmeal and poppy seeds in some of mine. And it's, it's like cooking and creating a, a gourmet recipe, but you're using it on your skin. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm like thinking about your um, background and Angela's done marketing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, was it a weird transit? It's like almost like you had to go and dive into chemistry now. Is, a that, little is bit. it like a weird transition? To uh, go from that, you or know, a little bit. So you just like it, so it's a passion. I really love making stuff, and I've always really enjoyed building things and making things and making a mess. And you know, when I started thinking about you know getting into this, I got into this because, quite honestly, I got sick of spending a lot of money on frou frou soaps that I hated. Right. It would be. It would smell great in the store, and then I would get it home, and I would use it once, and it would just wouldn't smell. It, yeah. Or it I wouldn't, get that a lot. It, it would make my skin feel weird. And so my husband was out of town one weekend and I decided to start experimenting in the kitchen and made an ungodly mess. And, you know, after several months and <laughs> lots of research and trial and error, came up with a kind of a baseline of some initial recipes. Invited all my girlfriends over, um, bribed them with all kinds of things, uh, and had them give me the feedback I needed, and kind of just got started from there. Well, that's awesome. Super cool to hear about your your story and your products, and I've enjoyed watching as you've gone. Cool. Like I've <laughs> I've been a part of this from kind of the beginning, mm -hmm. so it's you know it's like completely expanded, and new products have been added, mm -hmm. and new scents, and all that. So it's super cool to be watching. Your evolution. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And you have like an amazing setup here. I'm <laughs> oh, like, this is like the coolest ever. Yeah. I like, love it. So, okay, wait, who else is tuning in here? Oh, it's not. It's not as in real time as this one. Ah. Um, <laughs> oh, well, I can't see. If I don't say hi to someone, it's just because I can't see you. I'm going to say hi to Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to get started with some of the events. Since these guys are new, I'll just kind of start and then we'll have to show us how to do it. Yeah, so I will show you how really difficult <laughs> this, this is. So, uh, so every Wednesday night we bring it up, but um, which is tonight. So if you don't have plans, you want to go out or you bored at the last second, um, there was Wednesday night line dancing at Eclipse Restaurant and Sports Bar and Billiards at seven thirty, and then we have. On uh, tonight also at Tin Cannon, they have WTF Wednesdays where, <laughs> <laughs> wait, they're $5. That's what it stands for. So I wasn't oh. doing an acronym. Well, that's a clever bad word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that they have, um, it's $5 pints all evening. So go on up there if you want to try some stuff for a little bit cheaper. Then on the 10th, Sunday at 10, there's the Gainesville Farmer's Market, which I believe is at the, I don't know how to say it, Marky, Mark, Marky, Marky, if that's the word. Yeah, it doesn't say it on here, but yeah. I think that that's like out, out front of, I'm pretty sure it's out front of like Heritage Hunt area. Mm -hmm. And then, um, let's see, we've got that, we've got a football season, we've been talking about the fact that um, buy one, get one at um, Out of the Blue Seafood for NFL season. Simply Desserts at, on November 9th, Saturday at 1 p.m. They have a fall cupcake class and you can go in and receive step-by-step -step instructions to create gorgeous fall flowers on cupcakes using Swiss buttercream. Mm. And if you saw the picture, it looked really pretty. Yeah, that looks cool. I know, That's I love them. Yeah. So that'd be cool to learn. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I love I love stuff like that. I just like icing though. I'm one of those people I'm like, I have the corner piece with five flowers on it. <laughs> All right, so this is new, this is different. 
Trivia night, Sunday at 5 at Orange Theory Fitness, of all places. Hmm. Do you work but out do you have to work out while you're doing it? I know. I can't talk when I'm doing it. Me neither. I'm like, <laughs> I need to save everybody. I'm going to need flashcards if I were to do something like that. Yeah, I can write it out. I'm, I know. I'm like, I need every little... If anyone talks to me while I'm running, I'm like, I'll answer when I'm done. <laughs> like I need every little bit of energy exerted into this saving body. my oxygen for not dying. Yes. Right. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, so we've got that. And then we've got back to Tin Cannon. They're now opening at noon on Sundays Woo-hoo. for games. So Tin Cannon's awesome. Have you been there? Um, I think so. Yeah. It's like here in Gainesville. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's over here. by like Wellington. Wellington. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I was there. Um, me and my husband went uh, before the Iron Maiden show earlier in the summer. You went to Iron Maiden? You know, it's not my <laughs> cup of tea, but I'm a good wife. So, okay, I got you. I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> Understood. We, we stopped in there before the show, so it's a nice little pit stop if you're going to Chippy Lou. Yeah, it definitely cool. is. It's super close by. Um, we've got November 10th, which is Sunday at 4. Mazda's having their Mopar Club Sunday Fun Days. So go on by there. They're serving amazing food, $5 appetizers, and happy hour specials all day long. Hi, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, you better be watching. No. (laughs) (laughs) We've got on November 9th, this one's a little bit different, open house at Gainesville Holistic Health Center. That is Saturday at 11. Invite your friends and family to see what Gainesville Holistic Health Center is all about. They'll be available to answer your questions. So Saturday at 11, which... Um, holistic health is definitely something good to be interested in because it's basically taking into account different areas of your bodies that can body that can affect other areas, right? Isn't that kind of the definition? Holistic of health, I think you're looking at like the whole picture the entire as opposed to kind of package. Yeah. 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 Physical, mental, Obama. you know, all of it. Right. Yeah. So that's if you're, you know, into maybe not some doing t- drugs. Yeah, not doing drugs, yeah. or maybe like you just haven't found the answer somewhere else. It's always a good solution for that. So then we've got, well, now I'm in Haymarket, so I'm going to let somebody else jump in. All right, well, I'll, I'll kick in with Warrington. Warrington. I'm war- not, you are not, not going to say Warrington. Warrington. I don't Warrington. allow that. Warrington. <laughs> in Warrington. <laughs> so tonight, <laughs> tonight we've got a couple of things going on in War- Warrington. <laughs> at the Old Bushead Brewery, they are doing their trivia night. That is tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, also tonight at Denim and Pearls, their wine we and love them. whiskey Wednesday. I have not been there yet. You, I'm surprised you would like it. Well, let's let's get our tails out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Because I finally got to Merlarkey and would move next to them if I could. I know, right? Which is amazing because I don't consider myself a whiskey drinker, but apparently I am now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and who would have thought? Let nobody tell you you're not going to learn new things about yourself as you get into your well, 40s. Well, what happens. and who would have thought a whiskey uh, Bloody Mary is? I, I, I know. smoked one. Oh I my know. gosh. That's like my favorite one ever. No, have you been to Gentleman Pools? I have not, no. Oh, Claire. So, we got to get you Well, out. maybe next yeah. time. We, yeah. We'll all go girls all right. now. There we go. So that, <laughs> that, those are the today events. So if you've got no plans tonight, there's two options for you. Uh, looking at tomorrow night, we've got a couple things. Uh, the Old Town Open Book Story Slam Grand Slam is uh, Friday at 7. And tomorrow, I'm sorry, I just got myself out of order. My That's apologies. Fine. Tomorrow we've got what appears to be a woman's networking group. Uh, what is Woman Build at... Fakir Habitat Restore. And so going off of what I know for Habitat Restore, um, learn about what they're doing, who they're supporting, and how they're affecting uh, women in the community. Then the story time Grand Slam on Friday, if I can yeah, we kind of just make that work. Fit everything in. Right. Uh, also on Friday at 8.30 at Fuck Your Health, LeaderCast Women Take Courage. Uh, that is another woman's networking group. Got to go back over here. Nutcracker story time at the Chick Fil A in Warrington. That's at six p.m. on Friday. So that's Man, a, they're already getting in the. Uh, it's done. We're, we're, we're done. We are Halloween done. is over. We are now yeah. holiday all the time. Uh, so Thank Nutcracker you. story time, and then we'll go into this weekend. So Saturday farmers market. <clears throat> excuse me, at the Warrington farmers market location. 
That is gonna start at eight o'clock in the morning. Lavana, you'll love it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, your phone's updated. Right, we're all also up updated. Here. So Sunday, Sunday, what else do we have? Uh, yep, we're at one, on to Sunday, Bodies in Motion, the 5K and the 10K. Uh, that starts at 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday at the Warrington Aquatic and Recreational Facility. And that is your Warrington Weekend <laughs> update. Mark your calendars. And then now we have a play. Next up, Manassas. <laughs> Shout out to Manassas. So tonight... 6.30, uh, Drink and Think Trivia. If you uh, need trivia, it is at the Tucked Away Brewing Company. Which we also have to go try. It's, I believe it's Tucked Away. <laughs> <laughs> In between, like, the police station and some, another place. It's like, yeah, some, I don't know. I've Drink next to the police station. Well, I'm not supposed to point that out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Uber. Wait, where's my the Uber app? station? <laughs> oh, I know right where that is. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't even think I know where the oh, right. city of Manassas police station. I guess that's a good thing. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a good thing. All it's right. But but yeah, it's it's in between two places, and that's why they call it tucked away because it, you wouldn't kind of expect it to be there. That's a cute way to, to yeah. draw attention to that, then, though. Oh, great to see you. Don't forget the Read with Kira Lee's show. Yes, premieres on, what? let's see. She put that on there Saturday. So check out the YouTube channel. We talked about it last week, but she gives the link and she, she put the link in the comments there. Okay. And Hi, Jerry. And Jerry is- Oh, you're looking you. close by. I was like, wow, you've got great eyes. Yeah, we have it on our phone and yeah. it's actually sinking now for a I while. Like, that's why I was like still <laughs> looking because gosh. it wasn't sinking. Woman's eating some carrots. I <laughs> a rabbit or a pilot. Rabbits have good eyes. Well, they eat a lot of carrots. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can oh, mom ever tell you that? Yeah, eat carrots. <laughs> no, turn the orange. Yeah, or, or glasses. One of the two. Or the spray tan. I never heard that. If you want to turn orange. Oh, no, I was just thinking for eyesight. I was like, well, there's another thing that being pale right. is going to forgive me for. <laughs> All right, also tonight, it's Hopademic at Sinistral Brewing Company. Grab your we friends. We love Sinistral. Hi, Stacy. <laughs> um, and I think that's it for tonight in Manassas. So let's see what's going on tomorrow, tomorrow. which is Thursday. Because yes. it's hard to know what day of the week it is since kids were off school. Well, for like and you're going to see Claire tomorrow, too. It's really going to throw you off. Yeah, you're going to be like, what is going on around Yeah. Claire's all over going to Gainesville. too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow, never enough going Gainesville. It's never enough Claire. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, go that too. Uh, no, that, that, <laughs> that too. That too. You were gonna say. <laughs> um, tomorrow, gingerbread beer re-release. So uh, maybe they have a, a new formula there I at the uh, two silos. Um, yum. 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 Gin beer. <laughs> gingerbread <laughs> beer. I like beer. I like gingerbread. <laughs> I must like gingerbread Done, beer. done. <laughs> we have another farmer's market tomorrow, 8 a.m. Farmer's market in Manassas at the Harris Pavilion. Um, we got another comment of Angel. Baldwin. Yeah, come on, peeps. Try to win. Baldwin. So are they commenting here or commenting on well, the page? Both. Oh, okay. But sometimes this is up. The, it's like a little bit behind that one. So I see it come up on there. Oh, and fair I'm point. like looking and then I'm like, it's not on here yet. Delay. Yeah. Got it. That's We're learning. We're learning here. Okay. <laughs> All this technology. Yeah, who knew? Stop. We need Joe. Yes. Or a second girl. <laughs> <Like Joe. laughs> yeah, where is Josiah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tomorrow, Baldwin Elementary PTO is having their general meeting. If you are a parent, um, you can attend that from 6.30 to yeah, That one doesn't have a check mark, Claire. Oh. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Rough crowd. Yes. My, angel, my wow. first and last. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's that hook? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go back behind the couch. No. <laughs> it smells good. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm gonna get better at this. Before no, 
you're fine. Before the end here. Um, so the 8th, which is uh, Friday, Veterans Day Happy Hour fundraise at um, another event at Sinistral Brewing Company. Friday. Also Friday <laughs> evening at five. <laughs> tucked away at Lady K's Cafe. So Tucked Away Brewing Company um, is going to have the food truck, Lady K. Ooh, yeah, I've never had that food. I've never tried them, but I heard they're awesome. So check them out. Check them out. All right. So now we're on to Saturday, which is the 9th. Divine Swine Food Truck Saturday. They're yeah. awesome. Gourmet Beer Company. Oh, I thought they just had the uh, the Woodbridge one. They have a uh, Manassas one as well. Which one? Ornery. Oh, I didn't. And I've never been there, so I don't know. I've been to the one in Woodbridge. Cool. Um, and then also Saturday, one p.m. Wine and pie pairing at Aroma. You oh. can't beat that. That's like all my favorite things. Yeah. Yes. I think that's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> yeah. Take, take your family. Feed your kids some pie, have some wine. Girls bring everyone out. home in the Uber. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're all fat and happy. Just walk home because you're going to need to after all that. <laughs> Corey. Corey. Says, At least Corey you won't be walking past the police station. <laughs> Corey milkshake. Milkshake says this, hi. That's that's the way. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do an inside joke with someone watching. Milkshake the mini pony that he was afraid of. Okay, so back to the. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh I, no, sorry. A little tight. <laughs> yeah. If you uh, miss that Saturday farmers or Friday farmers market, you can hit it again Saturday at 8 a.m. Um, Here's Pavilion. Um, then Wicks and Sips Saturday afternoon at four. Again at Tucked Away Brewing Company. Who doesn't love playing with? Candle wax. Oh, you get to make your own candle. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, add a little alcohol and you won't feel the burn. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the next got the next <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, moving on. That's um, why Becky says that Claire's subtly fun. <laughs> it's like, she thinks it was too pretty. Yeah. 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 Um, Saturday at 4, Vertical Rock Indoor Climbing and Fitness is hosting Family Learn the Ropes. Uh, we, I've taken my kids there a million times. They've done camp there. It is great it to really exhaust the children. And it's crazy to see, like, the professional rock climbers, like, they're insane. Did you do it? Or you're no. Consistent? I didn't do it. I mean, I have tried it. It is a super crazy workout. Mm -hmm. Like, I could maybe go to the top once. And then I'm at the top and I'm scared. But the kids, <laughs> like, it doesn't phase them. And they can hang off. The, the little bungee. Well, they're them. lighter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's so they're not holding as much weight up by their little fingertips. Yeah. True. And then they have no fear of gravity yeah. or what happens when you try and subvert that force. And they're just like little spider monkeys going they around. They are. And it's crazy to see the people who don't even use the harness, like the professionals. They oh, wow. They're chalk and belt. So you can uh, investigate that with your whole family. And. I think we're on to Sunday now. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Anniversary adoption with Lost Dog Rescue at Bull Run Harley Davidson. Sunday at 1 p.m. Don't so, let me go there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll adopt Bring them. home a puppy. You, you did end up with a puppy six pack. <laughs> puppy and a motorcycle. Pretty much, yeah. That's a great weekend. That's a great combination. <laughs> That's a great really weekend. Is. That sounds like a good story. <laughs> You drink the alcohol first, <laughs> right? First and you then tucked away, and then justify bringing home six dogs and, <laughs> and, and, and a bike. Harley. I mean, that it's like the Hangover. You're piecing together <laughs> your day <laughs> <laughs> by your text. How did phone. I get here? Like, oh my god, I texted that. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Mine's always, mine's always the photos app. You gotta check the photos app the next morning. True. You're like, oh. As long as you don't post them, who cares? Though. I just have to <laughs> call my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, as I've gotten older, I've gotten more nostalgic <laughs> as the tipsier I get at different events. Oh, so really? You I've gotten, parents? I've gotten into the habit of calling my parents at, you know, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Thank you for everything honest, you did yes, for me. Let's be honest, I'm not staying out oh, late anymore. But at least that means you're and nice. It's, uh, yep, 
I'm so sorry for what I did when I was 14. <laughs> That's great. No one's fighting with Angela when she has a glass of wine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a belligerent drunk. <laughs> So on to Haymarket, we've got Beetlejuice-themed trivia it's in, today at 7.30 at Lion and Bowl. That sounds fun. It does, although I have i don't know if I've ever seen that movie. <gasps> what? I no. Oh. I just like any really at a place mm. that has beer. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, who's in there? Hi, Tim. Um, and then we've got, I'm going to be going out of order because... Because we've massacred yeah. our issues. No, you so guys just go fine. straight through. Um, November 9th, that's Saturday at 8. Uh, Yoko says no at Lion and Bowl. Beer It Forward is on November 8th at the Farm Brewery at Broad Run. So that's join us. Cool. Yeah, join us this weekend and buy a beer for a vet. Veterans oh, cool. can come in all weekend and get a beer on us. That's super cool. I want to go do that. I want to buy some beer. And now we have a reason to go. Yeah, yeah. even more. Oh, right. I have a reason. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and then we can all call my parents. Yeah, but all, all, <laughs> our, all of our parents will be like, thank you, Angela. Who's <laughs> this Angela person and why is she hey, apologizing? Who's this Angela person and what's her address so we can send her a thank you card? Leslie, she never, never apologized to us in her life. Okay. <laughs> no, all right, so November 10th, comparative tasting of Cabernet Franc at the winery at LaGrange. Mm. So you can check that Local. out. Yum, yum. Yes. And actually, I read their Facebook post today that this weekend is peak peak season or peak time for fall foliage. So, oh yeah, they have great views there. Yeah, they really do. It's beautiful. Um, let's see here. So we've got music. At, oh, okay. So you guys have to check out your own music. Sorry. <laughs> uh, the farm brewery at Broad Run. So it doesn't print out big enough for me to read. Um, it kind of does, but I just musicians performing. Yeah, there's a bunch of musicians. Oh, Every Wednesday, music. check them all. Oh, oh. So we've cool. got, well, actually, you know what? I'm wrong. This weekend, on the 8th, Shane Gamble is 6 to 9, and on the 9th, Something's Brewing mm. is from 4 to 7. That's what I'm It's the Aperto. gingerbread beer is brewing. Oh, oh, wait, that's at the other brewery. farm. That's at the other farm. Gosh, they have to name them things to mess me up. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, let's see here. Line and Bowl Trivia Night is today at 7.30, so, so many options for trivia. Yeah, trivia seems to be a popular event. Seems yes. to be picking up in the area, too. <laughs> trivia. And what's great is it's perfect for, you know, people in our demographic who want to go out and feel social and have a couple drinks, but also want to be home and in bed by 8 o'clock. But, but also, I'm down with that. But also <laughs> need the mental stimulation. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Remember <laughs> that movie that came out back about 20 years ago? We're going to have a trivia night about right. it tonight. Come on out. Remember the movie, The Notebook? Okay. <laughs> All right, so preschool story time, um, Friday at 1230 at Cookies and Cream. Always a good thing. Oh, to, oh, a little something cream. to get you out of the house with those kids driving you insane. Um, mm -hmm. NFL Sunday tickets back Sunday at 1 at the Farm Brewer or Broad Run. So if you want to watch the games, they have them there. Let's see. This is advanced brioche. Is that how you say that word? It's how you say it, but I've never heard that associated with the word knitting. Brioche <laughs> I thought that was knitting. bread. Yeah, brioche is it bread. Is. Brioche knitting. I'm like, I can't see. Have you ever heard of that term? Oh, there she is. No, but I, well, I've not, but uh, needles in the hay market at 10 a.m. Hmm. Is there any, like, introduction to brioche knitting? Experience the fun and satisfaction knitting a lovely and intricate brioche shawl. Oh. Maybe it's a, a pattern or For a, those of a you stitch who pattern. Yeah, let's see a stitch pattern. And but. know what we're talking about. There's Please an advanced well. meeting of brioche knitting happening. Yes, advanced knitting. <laughs> we'll be at the breweries. <laughs> <laughs> knitting. knitting. Did it, they need to do a knitting event at one of these breweries <laughs> to really set themselves apart. That would yeah, be a mess. <laughs> Donate the blankets to like. They wouldn't be blankets. Baby <laughs> like one string. Baby like a string. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Um, <laughs> so, shout out to Lindsay. No, this, so, my friend Lindsay, she sent me this information Saturday, November 16th at 2 o'clock at Bear Chase Brewing Company, uh, which is up in Loudoun. I've Beautiful always wanted views. to go. Yeah, I haven't been. I've been mm -hmm. there. You've got to go. Yeah. Beautiful views. Have you been to Dirt Farm Brewery? 
Now, I've been to the, the great country farms out there. Okay, so it's got, well, I think Which dirt farms has alcohol. like. Oh, well, then, no, I've not, I've not, definitely <laughs> right, not. Great country farms like where you take the kids. Oh, 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 I thought it was a brewery. Apple, it's it's right next farm? to all those. Uh, uh, oh, okay, oh, so yeah. dirt farm has like, before I went to Bear Chase, like the best view. I mean, really? it's like way, when you're driving, so, like, yeah. oh my gosh, is my car going to fall backwards? Oh, okay. But, How do you get off that mountain? <laughs> yep, but it's it's awesome. But again, um, Bear Chase Brewery is up that way too and has just a spectacular cool. of views. And so anyways, they're doing a fundraiser there. Brooke Strong, Leukemia Warriors. She's a 24-year-old mother of two children diagnosed with acute leukemia September 5th. So they're doing a fundraiser for them. I know. So that's why I love to be able to promote this stuff. So go up there. Um, they have a GoFundMe uh link i will put the i'll put the link up here or the information on this on the website and they're doing like 50 50 raffles and all that stuff so go out there and support her then we've got um pause and the pause and pals as we've talked about previously 5k and one mile mutt strut this weekend you should go to them it's a long park Right. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you take your dog to go run? Yeah, you can take your dog, and it's all like dog stuff. That would almost like, convince me to get out and exercise. Yeah, <laughs> they have all this nice <laughs> bender. All right, they have all the types of bender stuff, all dog related. Very cute. Um, so yeah, go out there, check that out. Um, Jill Walker's the one that's having that, so it's gonna be super fun. <laughs> Novak is calling. Oh, oh, they probably want me to pay my phone. Line. That's why the lights <laughs> went off. Oh wait, it's not my house. <laughs> They just know <laughs> they call me. Yeah. I don't care. I'm not getting it. Um, you, so oh, this is yeah. Meg's event. So Meg had sent me this. Um, Fantastic. we've been talking about it for a couple weeks now, but Project Fact, it's their third annual fundraiser. It's this Saturday, the 9th, from eleven thirty to two thirty. It, it I, I keep every time I say it, I'm like, oh no, Uno, I don't know, brewing company, it's in Chantilly. Oh yeah. Um can I yeah, shout out that? You probably know more about it. Than so, I. so Meg and her husband uh, run an organization called Making Everything Great. They're based out of Haymarket, Virginia. I can't say enough about the efforts that these two put in it's, to help both the community as well as veterans coming back and looking to integrate back into their their world. Uh, Project Fact was born from finding out that uh, victims of domestic violence, domestic abuse, uh, oftentimes when they go into the hospital and they're going through filing a report, a lot of times their clothing is kept as evidence. And so not only do you have somebody who has gone through a very traumatic experience, but now going to report it uh, and the bravery that that takes too, after all of that's said and done, they're then returned, you know, not even necessarily you know, clothed appropriately. They're wearing hospital scrubs. Project Fact aims to collect a variety of undergarments and clothing that are donated to these brave folks that go in there and tell their stories and start that process of, of getting their story out. And so what this, this is doing, they work with Inova Fairfax Hospital and, uh, you know, the nurses over there, the Victim Services Division, I'm sorry. Um, so they all work together to run this fundraiser every year to kind of grab these donations and then give them to that, that services unit so that these women and children um, don't have to leave the hospital. After feeling even more victimized. Feeling even basically. worse, basically, yeah. yeah. So it's an incredible effort. If you have a chance to get out there and donate uh, this weekend, I absolutely recommend it. Uh, you can also go to makingeverythinggood.org, and there's more information there as to how to donate and participate. Wow, that was awesome. I'm so glad you're here because I've been reading this off for the past two weeks, and I didn't do nearly as good of a job as <laughs> No, seriously. I didn't, I mean, I didn't, I guess I, I, I read off, like, what to do and where to go, but I really didn't realize that it was about the, the clothing it's that they It's pretty left awesome what they've, what they've done yes. and what they are continuing to do. That's, um... Amazing to know that. And then last but not least, um, uh, the, stay tuned. There'll be some information coming about for um, the Going Gainesville. We're going to do a holiday event at Eclipse again oh, from cool. like a five to seven type networking <clears throat> thing. Um, and we're going to be inviting every single business owner that I've done an interview that I've done featured videos with. Basically, uh, it's it's we're trying to make a Going Gainesville reunion. Very cool. So like mm -hmm. every single person that's ever kind of been part of this oh that's a great idea we're inviting okay. so 
it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun, even if you're just, you know, somebody that likes to go out and support support our local businesses. Go and you can meet some of the owners that you can see and we talk to. I think so. That's that's fantastic. And the other thing I have to say is you are doing an amazing job. Oh, um, thank you. I have walked into several businesses lately that you have highlighted and hosted through your efforts. The business owners love it. Aww. They love hearing that Going Gainesville is actually attracting an audience who is going out and exploring their own town and it's bringing customers in. They've had nothing but great things to say about oh, you and your you efforts. So and as a, and it's just been as fun. a resident, it's awesome because you're kind of doing the recon and I get to go eat at great places and discover. I, w I finally went to details for the home. Okay. And spent an hour and a half wandering around Isn't that a cool place. place? Um, but I know, I just think it's great, and well, I'm thank you so very much. happy to be a part of it. Yeah. Aww. Thank you guys. And thank you guys all for tuning in and supporting the channel and wanting to go out and try these places and supporting our local businesses. So we couldn't do it without you all. So keep commenting. You want to win um, the Posey Pack? Posey Stones? Posey Stones. <laughs> Posey Pack. I, I, I like the, what is it, the alliteration there. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Leslie's Posey Pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have Posey to, Stones. <laughs> no, I have to come up with a triple entendre. To show off my English major. No. <laughs> All right. So everybody, thank you so much. Like Angel Bars. Comment in the post under or comment underneath. Comment Angel and hope you win. Thanks awesome. for coming in and get your photography through Claire. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>